Hey guys, welcome to 14th uh, computer networking tutorial from ifactioner.com and today we will discuss about ring topology. We have already discussed that topology means the layout of a computer network that is how our computer network is physically or logically is laid out. So uh, we have already discussed that there are four types of uh, topologies. Number one is bus topology. Then we have got ring topology and which will be a topic of our discussion today. And uh, we have got star topology and we have got mesh topology. So let's start our discussion on ring topology. What is a ring topology? As the name suggests, in ring topology, all the nodes, that is your computers, your server, or your devices, are connected to each other and they form a ring. So let's suppose uh, we have got uh, uh, three computers. Computer 1 is connected to computer 2. Computer 2 is connected to computer number 3 and computer number 3 is connected to our server computer number 4. But if we see that uh, our server is connected to two neighbors, to its two neighbors, computer number 1 and computer number 3. So in the ring topology, every computer or every node, if I would say, is connected to two devices which are its neighbors. For example, uh, so our uh, computer one is connected to our server, right? And it is also connected to computer number two. So it's a very simple form of uh, topology and every computer is connected to two of its neighbors and they form a ring. So uh, this, uh, in this scenario, in this case, in this picture, we have a physical ring because it's a perfect ring if you see. And the data will also flow in this example uh, logically in the ring. So it's a physical as well as logical ring topology or layout or ring network. So we can say that it's a uh, it is a ring layout, ring topology, or more commonly, we call it as a ring network. So how does the data flow in ring topology? So in ring topology, uh, data is flown uh, in form of packets. So let's suppose our computer number one would like to communicate with our computer number three. And we have already seen that we have got a server and we have got computer number two. So if our computer number one would like to send some data to computer number three, then the data could flow either way from one to three or from this direction or this direction. But in this case, let's suppose that the data or the packet uh, flows from computer one to computer two. Computer two receives the packet and it says, no, it's not for me. And then it goes to computer number three and computer number three gets the data and then it honors the request. But at the same time, our packet may flow to computer number four and then it would come to computer number one and here it would be terminated. So in the ring network, our packet flows from the source and its final destination is also the source. But in the meanwhile, it will be reached to its intended computer. So what are the disadvantages of a ring network? Is that there is a single point of failure. For example, if 
there is a break in the wire, then our ring is affected, the communication within the ring is, connected, is affected, and even if one of the node fails, then the communication is also affected. Uh, but uh, the main uh, source of failure is basically the wire which are connecting, which is connecting all the computers or the nodes. So ta to tackle this problem, we have got a ring topology in which we have got a ring in which let's suppose a data flows in a clockwise position and at the same time we have a counter ring in which the data flows in the other direction. So if let's suppose our external ring fails, the data would be able to flow using the internal uh, internal ring. So friends, nowadays we do not usually use ring topology uh, because it's uh, and now it's it is an older type of topology. Nowadays, uh, uh, for quite some time, we have been using star topology, and we would be discussing about star topology in our next tutorial. Thank you very much for joining me on ifactorner.com video tutorials. If you would like to know more about star topology or ring topology or bus topology, then please visit ifactorner.com. I see you in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye.